everybody, Olav here, and welcome back to Let's Play Tex Murphy Overseer. So, Typical packing boxes. So yes, we have um, we have things just. And it's a shame credentials went out of style. I wish I had two or three for my office. Don't worry, buddy boy, you will get there. Uh, so yeah, we are up in the the attic. My mother still hasn't forgiven me for quitting piano. Oh, lessons. right. The and piano. again, she still refuses to believe the rumors about Liberace. They're not so much rumors. Great. Nothing special. There's a rather soiled uh, mattress. That's that's something special, right? Oh, a bunch of neurology textbooks. <sighs> Intriguing. They're in my head. They're in my head. Get them out. Get them out. Get them out. They're in my head. Oh, get them out. Oh, get them out. I can't take it any longer. Get them out. Get them out. Uh. What the hell was that all about? I don't know, but that was kind of freaky. Some sort of light source. <laughs> light source? Who needs light? I hope this is just a space heater. Um, that's what it looks like. Open the roll top desk. What is that? This could be worth looking at. Hmm. Nothing useful. Well, how do you know? You're barely even looking at it. All right. Um. No, uh, I wanted to. Ah, there we go. There we go. Yeah. And it's an empty, completely empty drawer. 20-year-old tax return. Well, I don't know. That could be that that could be interesting. Paper, pencils, paper clips, not much else. So locked. I'll need to find a little something before I can open this. I'll need to find a little something before I can open this. You talking like a little something something? Old college research paper. Oh, that looks like interesting. Somebody was having fun with crane. Yeah, that looks interesting. I'm thankful that it's just crayons. Are those old, like. Nothing useful. Hmm. Nothing useful. All righty then. Um, well, let's take a look at our. I wonder what Linsky did to this Blaine Warner person. I'm going to get Maybe you, he Linsky. Stole his tricycle. You'll pay for what you did to me, sincerely, Blaine Werner. Right. That that looks. So Linsky signed a book deal, and. Yeah, we knew about that. Hmm. It appears Carl Linsky. I thought there was another. Oh, I. Sylvia Linsky's credit report. Ah. Looks like money management isn't one of her strong points. Well, she did hire you, Tex. Well, that won't work. So, how the heck do I get in? Well, I bet no one thought to look up here for a pirate's chest. I bet. I need to find a little something before I can open. This credenza requires a key. Right, so... All right, so we need to find a key. Typical packing boxes. Well, you never know. There, there could have been something interesting in that. Or like over here. Waste baskets often provide leads. Not this one, however. All right, so there's a key somewhere. Oh, a bunch of neurology textbooks. <sighs> Intriguing. All right, so we need to find a key. Typical packing boxes. Uh... Eh, 
Nifty little air vent. Yeah, nifty. Um. All right, I will admit to being lost. Uh, we are gonna get a hint here real quick. Uh, let's see here. Unlocking the credenza. Ask Sylvia about. Return to Linsky's home later. Talk to Sylvia and get Manila envelope. Okay. So I have to basically come back here later. Well, let's go talk to Dolores. Dolores Lightbody? Yes, indeedy. My name's James um, Murphy. I'm a private investigator. I'm looking into the death of Carl Linsky. Oh, well, do come in. Well, thank you. you very, very welcome. Well, this is certainly exciting. A, a real live P.I. <laughs> I love detective novels, you know. Right. I guess I've always had a certain fascination with private dicks. Well, that's straightforward, isn't it? Uh... Uh, I think maybe we ought to just stick to business for now. Yes, I am. For now. In the morning. <laughs> Technically. Perhaps in a week or two. Um, okay, down to business. As I'm sure you must know, Dolores. I'm going to need to ask you a few questions. What if I refuse to cooperate? Will you interrogate me under a bare bulb? D um... <laughs> Well, I'm afraid, out of respect to the recently departed, I'm going to have to ignore that little bit of innuendo. <laughs> but all right. Respect. You were you were threatening to steal his underwear. Where to begin? It was about three months, eleven days ago, on a foggy, foggy night. About. Carl and I first met. Naturally, it was love at first sight. Oh, I'm sure. Interesting. Had you and Carl been drinking heavily that night? <laughs> Actually, Carl came to have me draw up his will. That's what I do for a living. Right. That's not suspicious at all. A will, huh? Hmm. Could be a motive. Sylvia Linsky doesn't exactly think her father committed suicide. Surely you don't mean murder. Uh, that's usually what we indicate when it isn't suicide. Let's just say the police didn't find any trace of banana peel up there on that bridge. Now I've got a few more questions for you if you don't mind. Oh, well, I'd do anything to help. I think you know that. Uh, yeah, I'm a little uncomfortable with this. I loved Carl desperately. We were very happy together. I can't for the life of me imagine why... he did what he did. Why somebody would kill him, maybe? I'm afraid Carl... Is that what you were going to say? ...home and his speeder and not much more. I'm afraid Carl wasn't very good with money... He stipulated in his will that everything be divided between his daughter Sylvia and the North Hill Clinic. Of course, the real money that Trollope Sylvia will get will be from his life insurance policy. Well, not because it was... It was, was suicide, so it's not going to pay out. ...amends to Sylvia. And I'm sure it's the only reason Sylvia has you investigating her father's death. Well, okay, that... Might actually make Carl sense. Worked there for years. It's a very exclusive medical facility, you know. Really? I'm in touch with the director, Arnold Sternwood. Blaine Warner. Do you know I'm that name? Familiar with that name. Uh. 
<laughs> this note is clearly a forgery. I will not dignify it with a response. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. Me? Oh, I'm still in shock, as you must imagine. It'll be weeks, maybe months, before I'm able to love again. I don't play very well myself, but Carl did. He said that life itself is a chess match. Everybody has said that. Carl loved to play games. Many a romantic evening, we'd while away the hours playing dominoes or backgammon. Carl also loved to play chess. Yes, we've already discussed that. Thank you. I can't really help you there. Carl's wife left soon after Sylvia was born. Oh, Carl did the best that he could, but you don't he particularly never care he'd done for a very her. Good job raising Sylvia, and she never appreciated her father. She left home when she was very young and went into some unsavory kind of work, escorting or something like that. Carl's heart was nearly broken. They hadn't been close in years. Oh, it's too soon, Tex. Allow me to, to grieve first, and then we'll see what grows between us. Yeah, um... He's an extremely... Attractive man, but also very busy. If you'd like to see him, I can try to arrange an appointment with him. That I'll would be fantastic. You know. Then you'll have to owe me a favor. That might not be so fantastic. So that was my introduction to Dolores Lightbody. Oh, the way she talked about Carl, it, it sounds like she was living in denial. Actually, it was Sausalito, but she did have a way of looking at things through steamed up glasses. And she also had some valid concerns about my client, which I brought up with Sylvia later that day. Okay, so now we go back to the Lenski's place. Here's and there's the, from the police. There's the personal effects. Much. His wallet, a set of keys, two go to the house, one to the speeder. The other two, I don't know what they go to. Adenza. I'll check them out. Uh, I've got a few things I need to run by you. I went out and I talked with Dolores Lightbody today. Apparently you two aren't exactly soul sisters. <laughs> she is hideous. I don't know what kind of black magic she used on my father, but I can't think of any other explanation. Dolores told me about the will. Apparently you're the beneficiary. Why are you treating me like I'm a suspect? For your information, if I sold the house and the speeder and added it to the cash, I might be able to pay off my father's debt. I'm not going to benefit from this will. Except, of course, the million dollar life insurance policy. I'm not going to get a cent of that. I'm surprised you're even asking me about that. You know, life insurance policies don't pay off in cases of suicide. And that's why you retain Yeah. The well, you can think that if you want. But I don't have to stick around here and be insulted by the hired help. Ouch. Yeah, I violated PI Rule 17. Never upset a client. She was right. I was the hired help, so I went back to work. The manila envelope Sylvie had given me turned out to have some pretty useful items in it. Yeah, um, that's, uh, just, that's just, yeah, you're hired help, sure, but, wait, wasn't there, was there something in the, in his room that we couldn't open? No? Hmm. There are only 31 pieces on the chessboard. Seems like an odd number. Okay. Yes, let's go up. Let's check out the credenza. 
and find out what he was hiding in there. Okay, pull out all the stuff. Small key? Yeah, there we go. Okay. What is this? Now, what do we have here? Appears to be a rental agreement. Really? Let's take a look at, um... Nineteen seventy seven. Wow. Okay. So he was just born like what two months, two months and a week before me. From the looks of this, Linsky had a secret, special place that he didn't want anyone to know about. <laughs> Golden Gate Warehouse. Sylvia Linsky. Uh, where's the suicide note? So Linsky. I thought that was like. Oh, there it is. Okay, suicide note. Pain is unbearable. I can no longer go really on any. This. I cannot I go on exactly any longer. What he's referring to. Yeah. That's odd. Um, okay, apparently I can't turn it around. All right, so there's this random thing. There's this, this un, unspecified place. Let's go ahead and go to the warehouse real quick. Linsky's secret workshop was out by the spaceport in an old warehouse. The key from the manila envelope bit the lock and I stepped inside. Was anyone there? No, and I doubt anyone had been there since Linsky. The place didn't appear to have been searched, judging by all the interesting things I found. All right. So we are on to Linsky's warehouse where there's a supposedly interesting things to be found. But that is all the time we have for today. As always, thank you guys very much for watching. And stay tuned for more from Olaf Productions. If you want to see some Here crazy, you know so lazy, then you should meet me and my friends. Even what do you want to... No wow, you will... Are... That is an awesome yeah, ship. That is an awesome ship. And you. it is... Dear gods, is it way outside my, my price range. Or, as it is quoted in the United States, inalienable human rights. This is air, water, food, clothing, and shelter. 